Joey's the second man we lost this year. What do you mean, second? Who else died? Calvin died last month. Or did you forget? He was 65 and he had a bad heart. Still died. He was in his bed, numbskull. It's not like he was out at sea. Still say it's a harbinger. What are you talking about? Ships ain't coming back with fish and crewmen are dying. It's a harbinger. Before you know it, an albatross is gonna fall out the sky. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Something's falling out of the sky, all right. That is nasty. <laughs> Something funny? No, sir. No, sir. You guys got a lot of work to do. Make sure you finish in time to pay your respects, huh? You got a skipper? See you inside. You good? Sir. Hi. Hi. You OK? That was awkward. I think your father knew something's up. Why would you say that? The way he looks at me, like he wants to chop me up and throw me in the chum bucket. Come on, Danny. Stop being so paranoid. I'll stop being paranoid when you tell him we're going out. Can we not talk about that here? Sure. You might be wondering why we're here, not in a church. Well, Joey knew that all you bums would just end up here anyway. <laughs> so he would want us to cut to the chase. <laughs> no offense, Father. To Joey. 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 I'm tougher than losing the crewman. You got that right, Ben. You just make sure it's not my boy Danny next time. Yeah. Shh, my dad is in there and he doesn't know I took them. You mean you lied to your dad? He would kill me. You mean you still haven't told him you're seeing Danny? He thinks if I fall in love with a local, I won't go to university. So just don't tell him Danny's coming with us. All right, it's the last one, Drew. Let's get out of here. I ain't going anywhere. Gotta work the night shift. I thought you and Aaron were going to the island with us. Yeah, she's gonna leave with you guys tonight. I'll meet up with her in the morning. That sucks. It ain't no big deal. Anyway, given how we lost our last catch and didn't make a dime, at least I know I'll be getting paid for something. Yeah, well, just make sure you show up. Now I'm gonna get stuck all weekend with two girls. And that's a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> Later, Drew. Yeah, man, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Hey, you got something on your line. Holy, man. You know, every day since I started working at this dock, I dropped a line in. You know how many times I caught something? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Never. <sighs> wow. It's heavy. Some green horn. Need some help? Charles, isn't it? This is a harbinger, right? Get rid of it. 
Don't let anyone see it. Hey, why is this bad again? Still got a painter for the boat, Will. You'll get your money. When? I got a good feeling. I'm going back out. Yeah, you and your feelings. You know, maybe you just don't have the stones for this game anymore. I mean, you coming back without fish is one thing. Coming back without your crew is... Hey, hey! Just shut up, Roy. Tough guy. Take your best shot. Is there a problem, Roy? Oh, no problem, Sheriff. Just reminding your deadbeat brother here that catch or no catch, he's still got to pay me for my boat. <laughs> Will's no deadbeat. You know that. Yeah, you want another go? You got to pay up first. You're not thinking about going back out there again, are you? You know how expensive college is these days? You, um, uh, you got some time? Yeah, sure, what's up? Apology lady, the one checking out the fishing problem. She found something. I thought I'd bring out a fisherman. <laughs> Come on, help your brother out. Nobody knows these waters like you. Come on. Folia. It's a very invasive species of algae. So is that what's uh, killing our fish? Could be. This particular type of algae produces extremely high amounts of a chemical toxic to many fish species. It can break down an entire ecosystem. Well, how do we determine if it's the cause or not? Well, what I found could be from a few patches that are controllable, or it could be a massive outbreak. From the decline in the fish population, I fear the latter. But I'm taking a boat out tomorrow morning, and. I'll let you boys know what I come up with. Okay, thanks. What are you looking at? For buckets. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's promising. I mean, maybe she'll, uh, maybe she'll finally get to the bottom of this. Uh, that could take months, huh? Then what? Who's gonna pay to fix it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, babe. We're off to the island. Oh, OK, cool. I'll see you guys there tomorrow. You better, because I'll be really mad if I have to spend the weekend with Danny and Carly without you.
big group or something? out again. <laughs> On my boat, you're not. Maybe you haven't heard, but they just issued a major storm warning. Yeah, my weather guy says it'll miss us. Cold front's gonna push it north of where we're going. You got any crew? I got enough guys. I gotta make up for that catch I lost. Orders haven't been kind. I got bills. It reminds me, uh, I ain't running no charity organization. It's all there. What did you do, rob a bank? Do I get the boat or not? What guarantee do I have you're not gonna screw up again? Look, I got caught last trip. That's the first and last time that's gonna happen. You make sure of that. Expected one of my crewmen to have the boat ready to go out this morning and find the dock like this. Have you ever, ever seen anything like this before? No. There's some here, there's some there. Right off the end. Did you see that? What? Were you just throwing rocks at the window? No, why? Because they heard a tapping on the glass, like someone throwing rocks or something. Wow, there must be a creepy pervert on the island. <laughs> no, that would be you. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm unpacking. What does it look like? Why are you bothering with that? Uh, so the clothes don't wrinkle, dumbass. Well, who said anything about wearing clothes? 
Um, is Drew here yet? I don't know. But I haven't seen him or Aaron. You know, we're gonna need firewood if you wanna make breakfast. Okay. I'll get right on that. I'm gonna look for Aaron. <gasps> shark did that. I don't know. I think an animal might have come down and attacked him. Uh, an animal came down out of the woods and attacked him and left nothing but a couple of body parts they, floating around well, in the water. I, I don't know. No what, blood what, anywhere? What else could it be? Look, we'll, we'll, we'll form a hunting party. If there's a sick or rabid animal out there, we'll find it. You're not going back out there, are you? Good. Sorry about Drew. You okay? Just wasn't quite ready for that. Got any thoughts on what that uh, green stuff might be? No, I'm, it might be some kind of fungus. I don't know. The strange way it's discolored the dock indicates it has an acidic property. Can I show you something else real quick? Uh, see right here? Yeah. Right here? Is this the same stuff that's over on the dock? Yeah. Uh, I guess whatever it was that was on the dock was also on this boat. Except this was here before we docked. How can that be? I don't know. You're the biologist. You tell me. Is there any kind of creature that you know of that could leave something like this behind? Well, I'll run some tests, find out exactly what this is. He didn't shout. He promised he wouldn't do this to me. I'm sure he'll shout. Come back to the cabin with me, okay? Danny's making breakfast. No, I'm not hungry. Just can't believe he didn't come. All right. I'll save you something in case you change your mind. situation on our hands here, okay? Something killed Drew on the dock last night. 
queen or something. I don't know. So what do you want with me? You lost a crewman. In a storm just like I did, I want to know what happened. You know the damn story. No, I don't. I'll just talk about uh, sea monsters. It was a shark. That's what my crew said, so that's what it must have been. What did you really see? I seen a Mako jump 15 foot once. Right over the deck to the other side. It wasn't a shark, Ben. I saw it too. And whatever it was, it took Joey. You're crazy. Listen to me. Whatever that thing is, it left some kind of disgusting slime on the dock right where it attacked Drew. I found the same stuff on my boat where it took Joey. I think this thing followed me back to town. I'm coming clean on what I saw. I have to. And I need you to back me up. So you can't be all liquored up. I need you clean and sober. I need you to tell the people of this town exactly what you saw, Ben. I don't know what you're talking about. You go and sell your version to crazy to whoever buy it. Fresh cup of coffee. Thanks. Ah, so did you figure out what that uh, slime was from the dock? It's a toxin, some form of venom, highly concentrated. Venom? Like from a sea snake? Uh, more like what you find in an ambush predator, like a sea devil. Isn't that like a deep sea anglerfish? And a master of disguise camouflages itself to blend into its environment. Then when an unsuspecting prey passes, it sprays a venom which paralyzes the prey. You're telling me that some deep sea predator paralyzed Drew and then ate him? No, I'm just telling you the properties of this slime and where it's found in nature. What it was doing on the dock in your boat, I, I have no idea. The bottom of the ocean is one thing, but whatever this venom is from, it's coming on land now.
What are you doing? <sighs> Something bit me. Oh, my God. <sighs> Whatever it was, I got a picture of it. Let me see. What is that thing? No idea. Never seen anything like it. It kind of looks like an anglerfish. An anglerfish? Yeah, those uh, you know, deep sea fish. The big thing on their head to lower the prey. Oh, God. That looks horrible. When do they come here to worry about my hand or. Hey, Carly, it's me, Dad. Uh, honey, will you please call me? Let me know you're still alive, please. All right, I love you. How's Arden doing? She's holding up OK. She can't confirm what you saw. All she saw was blood splattering on that window. Well, what tore those kids up? She didn't have a clue. Well, you, you sure it wasn't some psycho in a, in a costume? Jake, this thing jumped 30 feet into the air. It took bullets like I was shooting BBs. You know, what, what am I supposed to do with some crazy creature story, Will? This is the first time I've seen it. Huh? The night of the storm, when the wave that took Joey it was that thing. For God's sakes. You know who you sound like? You got no idea what you saw that night. You were hitting the head, it was pissing rain. Joey could have slipped on the deck and fallen overboard in that storm. That's what I was hoping to. But after this, there's no denying that what I saw is real. Don't make a fool of yourself, Will. Look, I'm gonna call the stadiums in on this, okay? I'll rally the boys, we'll meet up at the tavern. Need some help putting this thing down. Man, beast, or... Whatever it is. All right. You're all sweaty. Let me see your hand. <sighs> You're not gonna propose to me, are you? That is disgusting. You look horrible. Maybe we should just go home. No, I'm not gonna be the one to ruin this weekend. Well, if you die, that will definitely ruin it. I'm not dying. All right, let's just go to the boat and get the first aid kit. All right, listen up. Storm moving up the coast has wind gusts up to 100 miles an hour, which means we're not going to get any immediate assistance on our more Urgent matter. Drew's dead. Today, up at the bluffs, some of our kids were ripped apart. Kids? Eyewitness was saying it's uh, some kind of creature. Is that what you think, Sheriff? I don't know. Maybe a, a bear or worse, some. Homicidal maniac dressed up in a costume, seen one too many horror pictures. But whatever it is, we gotta find it. And we gotta find it fast. Look, it's not a guy in a costume. How do you know, Will? Because I've seen it, Roy, with my own two eyes, all right? Today and on my boat when it took Joey. <laughs> you can't be serious. I'm dead serious. I think it followed me back here. Sounds like you've been drinking out of the same bottle as Ben. Oh, speak of the devil. Here's someone who'll back up your sea monster story. Shut up, Roy. You don't know spit. What do you know, you drunk? Why don't you crawl back in your bottle and let us handle this? All right, Roy, that's enough. You all remember the Duke. And I know you all remember the night he didn't come home. We were running a Chinook up near the point. Must have had 80,000 in the hole before midnight. We had one net left to grab. 
The Duke, well, he says he sees something off the starboard bow. And then he's gone. <laughs> what a crew, bunch of greenhorns. Said they thought a shark took him. Well, now, I ain't no greenhorn. So you can believe me when I tell you that weren't no shark. Will here, he knows what he saw. Predator, so cold and vile, you'd think he was spawned by the devil himself. Sheriff, just had a call from my sister. Says she saw some kind of monster climbing a tree in the park. Big as a bear, she said. Uh, you guys want to grab your rods and your reels, go look for the Loch Ness Monster, you have your fun. I'm going on. Just, just, just hold on, Roy. Let's be smart about this. Hey, yeah, well, you want to wait till more people die, Sheriff? No, but we're going to do this together. Then let's do it. Hey, Will, you tell Nessie S is high. Jay, you don't believe us? Look, it's not, it's not a matter what I believe, Will. We got to find this thing and stop it before it kills somebody else. You people stay home. You stay there till we find this thing, till it's safe. Jay, you don't know what you're getting into here. You need professionals to handle this. Oh, that's funny. I thought I was a professional. Go home. I could use a drink. Not yet. I got one more person I need you to talk to. Where's the boat? I'm gonna strangle her. You think Aaron took the boat? Who else, Carly? Aaron's gone and the boat's gone. Do the math. Why would she take the boat, Danny? Are you kidding me? She went back to the mainland to chew out Drew for standing her up. Aaron! <sighs> She's dead. I'm gonna kill her. Well, not if that gross infection kills you first. Arden. Hey. This is Ben. Hi, Ben. Ben. Yeah. Where are you headed? Diving. Diving? I mean, that's... You can't go diving out there on your own with this thing in the water. Look, you've got people dying. I mean, it's quite possible the venom we found actually is from some deep-sea predator. The only way we're gonna know is if someone goes out there and investigates. I like her. Where to? Uh, well, this thing's from ocean water, so it's gonna feel most comfortable in a deep area where the water temperature is the lowest and the salinity is the highest. Hey, Ben, you know any place deeper than Goliath Drop? None in these parts. Goliath Drop it is, then. because she stole the boat and went back to town. No, she wouldn't do that. Do you have a better explanation? Well, what if something bad happened? Like what? I don't know. Pirates? Pirates. Give me a break. There's one logical explanation. She took the boat and went to get Drew. Maybe. But that means she'll be back soon. She better be. as far as we can before the storm comes in. Keep your eyes in the trees. 
Apparently this thing climbs. So let me get this straight. You're saying this thing is one of God's creatures? I'm saying it's possible it's an undiscovered species we never knew existed. How often does that happen? Every so often. After the 2004 tsunami, over 14 new species of aquatic life were found, dredged up from the bottom of the sea by the wave. And we've only just scratched the surface of what lives down there. Well, out of that 14, how many of those were amphibious man-eaters, huh? None. Ah. There's got to be a better way than you going down into harm's way there, darling. I've gone down with great weights off the barrier reef without a cage. I'll be fine. Fresh carcass. This thing could be closed. Let's uh let's spread out. See if we can find it. down, Roy. this way. Come on. Come on. I can't believe this. There's no reception in the cabin. None out here. I think it's safe to say we just aren't gonna get reception on this island. 
doesn't have a landline in their home. It's not a home, it's a cabin. It's a peaceful retreat where my dad wants to get away from technology. A phone isn't technology, it's a basic form of communication that one can use to call for help if their hand's about to fall off. What are you doing? Maybe if I squeeze it, it'll help it heal. You know? This is it. Oh, God! That is disgusting! Oh, you need to rinse that off. What, with salt water? Then let's go back to the cabin. You have to get that cleaned up. That's just... that's gross. <sighs> Problem than we thought. What the heck is that? It's a hatched egg. I'm kidding. Did this thing belong to the creature? Nothing else in these waters can lay an egg like this. Are there any more of these down there? This is the only one I found, which leads me to believe that this egg hatched somewhere else and was swept here by the current. Somewhere else. So what you're saying is that there's probably more of them down there. And if this thing is amphibious, its young may have gone ashore to feed. All right, we gotta head back. Jay's gonna want to hear about this. Oh my God. Are you sure? I told you it was pirates. It's not pirates. Let's just go back to the cabin. That's the thing that bit me. from the water, right? But it's preying on land. What's on your mind, Ben? Draw it out of the water. Bait it on the land, and then kill it. Maybe. We'll see how Jay made out first. Carly, it's Dad again. I'm getting worried. Will you please call me? Love you. I gotta find my daughter. I'm supposed to be staying the weekend at a friend's house. I can't get in touch with anyone. I saw her and some kids leaving a boat late yesterday. What kids? Uh, look like Aaron and Danny. Danny? <sighs> oh, I 
should have known that she was pulling the wool over my eyes the entire time. Don't blame yourself. Girls will be girls. <sighs> Any word from Jay? No. Do you want me to turn him on the radio? Please. Sheriff, this is a harbor master. Do you copy? Sheriff, this is the harbor master. Do you copy? Jay, are you there? Jay, I got Will here for you. Do you copy? He's not answering. Going out there. I'll go with you. What was that thing? I can't believe it killed Aaron. Shh. Boy. Do you think there's others? I don't know. Maybe. Let's just get back to cabin and figure this out, okay? Drew does. How do you know that thing didn't kill Drew and that's why he never showed up? Do you hear that? It sounds like that thing. I don't see anything. Maybe it was a bird.
That's what they tell me. Look, I don't know whether you have any idea what's been going on here. You better stay clear of these docks for a while. Who do you think you are, shooting me like that? If I were you, I'd go on and get out of here now. Ben, you are gonna get yourself killed. That's my business. You go on, get out of here. down here. Ben has gone over the deep end. He's, he's building some kind of cage on the dock. He's setting himself up as bait. I'm on my way. Come on, you dumb fish. I've got some quality meat right here for you. way down here to talk some sense into you. Stop! Barbara, go back! Don't point that thing at me.
Sounds like they're having a feast out there. We need to get out of here. I don't want to end up like Aaron. We're not going anywhere until those things leave. But what if they don't leave? What if they eat all our food and then they come up here and they eat us? Even if we could escape, where are we going to go? The boat's gone. There's nothing on this freaking island. Well, what about the ferry? The ferry? That old ferry that my dad used to work on when he was a kid. What good is that? It's sunk. It's been sitting in the lagoon since I can remember. Well, maybe they have a radio on it that we can use. How are you going to use a radio if there's no power? OK, fine, then we'll just stay here and die. Sometimes they keep emergency batteries in those radios in case of a power loss. I mean, it's a long shot it's still up juice after all these years, but... Maybe. I don't see him anywhere. Uh. I think the ferry's on the south side of the island. We gotta go that way. Venom killed him. Microchip with a spear gun inside a fish in case it got away so we could track it. Catch it later. 
So the chip is in the creature? Yeah. The creature's headed to the island. They're still out. I think Carly took him to the island in my cabin. And that thing is there with them? Yeah. Boy, talk about jumping out of the frying pan and into the fire. Yeah, well, at least those things aren't here. Sure, you know what you're doing? Looking for a flare kit. Keep an eye out for any type of emergency box. Are you kidding? This place has been stripped to the bone. Do you have a better idea, Carly? Yeah. Find the safest, most secure room on this ship and barricade ourselves in there in case those things decide to visit. All right. But we're going to keep searching for this. safe, secure room. This looks good. We can seal ourselves in for the night. They're here. Didn't sound anything like those things. Well, what was it? Please come in here Don't and hide. Worry.
stick this rod through the spokes. Keep the door locked. Don't come out until I tell you. Be careful. Stick the rod through the spokes. Okay. I'll be right back. What is that? It's a call. Call to who? Is she all right? She's safe and sound, Skip. Take me to her. She's this way. Wait! Danny. I'm sorry. We gotta go. We gotta go. 
That's why she's circling. Doesn't want her kids caught in the middle of a gunfight. So as long as we babysit, we're safe? We can't leave here without destroying the nest and all the creatures. I know. I know. I used to be a welder on this ship. I got an idea. Come on. This ship was always spring leaks. So we were constantly having to weld it to keep it together. Oxygen is settling. There should be enough gas left in these to blow that creature in her nest of kingdom come. Line those tanks up with this one. Perfectly, right alongside. Now what? I want you to tie the tanks together. And then run the rope under this beam through that pulley around this barrel, and then tie it off to that cinder block. I'll leave you the shotgun. I gotta go find some gas.
Greenhorns get anything right? What? Greenhorns. It's a, you know, 